Okay, so I have this dilemma. It's about Jamie. Look, she's my really good friend, but she's been really annoying lately. You know, that kind of annoying, and you're just like, mm, I don't really want to chat to you. And I just don't want to invite her to my party that I'm having in a couple of weeks. Like, I just, I've decided that I'm not going to invite her. Like, she's, she's just been a nuisance. Like, she's kind of bringing the average down. She's just not bringing anything to the table. Just, yep, 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 yep. Oh, warm fuzzy feelings. Oh, let's be nice friends. Oh, no one talks to me, but you're a good friend. Oh, let's, let's, let's have warm fuzzy deep DNMs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's, nah, she's no just deal. dragging me down. Yeah, yeah, she's dragging me down. No way, no way. Are you listening to this guy? I mean, seriously, you and Jamie have been best friends for like forever. I mean, you go through the hard times, you go through the good times. This is just another one of those hard times, you know? Stick it out. It's going to be better for you in the long run. I mean, you don't even know what's going on with Jamie at the moment. Have you even asked if she's okay? Yeah, but it's, th it's that's true. just it, isn't it? That's it. All these years, you've been, you've been her friend the whole time, but she's just pulling you down. She's just making life harder for you. You've got to stop right now and think, do you want her at the party and you want to have to look after her and care for her the whole time? Or well, do you want to hang out and relax and chat all to all your other friends? Like, you got to decide what's best for you. Yeah, that's, that's totally right. And, and her house smells a bit like cats. So, yeah. That's true. Yeah, right. Okay. So I've got, I've got this really cool party on Saturday night, but I've decided that I'm not going to drink because I'm not 18 yet, and that's like, you know, I'm not even allowed to drink, but I thought about it, but I'm like, nah, nah not going to do it. I would probably not be able to control myself and just end up drunk and on the floor, so I'm not going to do it. No. Hold up right there. Hold up, hold up. So you're saying you're going to, like, you've just been through exams, school's been tough, but you're going to go to this party and not relax with your friends and not just have, knock a couple of drinks back and just have a good time, just kind of let yourself go. You're going to... You're going to just not relax. You're not going to have a good time. It's true. I don't want to relax. No, 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 no. That's not, what, that's not how it works. I mean, it's, it's, this guy's trying to tell you that you need to have fun by drinking a lot of alcohol. But I'm telling you, the only spirit that you need, you already have. The Holy Spirit. Oh, it's good. A Holy Spirit. Yeah. Look, mate. Mate, that... that that joke's old. That's not even funny. I told you that last week. It That's wasn't, not funny. It wasn't meant to be funny. It was meant to be clever and convincing because I, I don't want her to go and do that. No, no, no. Look, you've got to think. Do you, do you want to have a hard time now? Maybe it'll be good later when you have the Holy Spirits or whatever. No, you, you, want, you want to live life to the full right now, hey. You want to have fun now because you're stressed now. This, this is the time. And you're stopping her having fun. She's going to be that weird person in the corner. It's like, oh, they're not she's, drinking. What? I'm not saying she's going to be the weird person in the corner. You know, I'm not saying she can't have fun. Jesus says we're going to have fun. Jesus says, I will give you life and life to the full. She's going to have life to the full. That's what's going to happen. No, no, it's all about now. Like, you're, you're sad now. You're stressed now. You need this party. Your friend's only going to be 18 once. It's, ne it, it's now. Yeah, YOLO! <laughs> okay, so... I just recently became a Christian and I'm finding it really, really hard to kind of just to go on, on the Christian path. Things, are, things are, are really hard and I don't, I'm struggling. I don't think I can do it anymore. You know what? I think you're right. Like this Christianity all the time thing, Jesus all the time, reading your Bible, that's, that's not for everyone. Like... It, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of exercise and diet. Like, people say, oh, you're going to look great. Oh, you'll feel great when you're fit. Or you could feel great now with a chocolate mud cake. Yes. I love it, it's mud like, cake. There's a clear winner. Yeah, I love cake. I love, do you have any now? Is there any? Is that... No, no. no. That's my see, cake. What, what Jesus promises is more than chocolate cake. Jesus promises eternal life freedom, forgiveness of our sins, and he offers it to us, but it's not going to be easy. And we know that. He tells us it's not going to be easy. But he also says that we need to keep persevering and keep trying, and he will help us along the way. Don't give up now. You can have chocolate cake with Jesus in heaven. Yeah, I know. Okay, I've got to persevere. God's with me. So before we start, I'm just going to pray for us because I think we need prayer. So let's pray. 
Father God, we thank you for your word, and we thank you that it's truth. We pray that you will really speak to us now through your truth, and you really convict us now in your name. Amen. So just recently, I've really learned something about myself. I've learned something, and that is that the more time I spend with someone, the more I become like them. Now, it's pretty interesting, and if you're not quite sure what I mean, let me explain. I've found myself talking like my friends. Like, I, I talk in hashtags, I talk in internet memes, and I'm not even talking about, like, online. I'm talking about face-to-face -face verbally. Does anyone else do that, talk in hashtags? Cool, okay, it's not just me. But I tend to talk in hashtags when other people talk in hashtags. It's quite bizarre. I've also discovered that every time I hang around Luke, where's Luke? Is he at the back? Every time I hang out with Luke, I'm always craving a Coke. Have you ever noticed that he's always got a Coke in his hand, or he's always sculling a few Cokes down? Next week at camp, he's going to be sculling so many Cokes down, I guarantee you. And, and all of us are probably going to crave some Cokes too, but every time I'm with him, I feel like a Coke. And almost every time I'm here at church, for some strange reason, I look at Alex Jones and we're wearing the same thing. I don't know why, it's just such a bizarre thing, hashtag twinning. I don't know, tonight's not really the same, but... We always seem like we're just wearing the same things all the time. But what I'm trying to say is that the more time I spend with someone, the more of an influence they are on me. I wonder how much this is true, not just for me, but for us. I want you to think about your favorite singer. Think about your favorite band in your head. Think about them. Who are they? Think about them. Chances are that they are heavily influenced on other people. Okay, their sound they just didn't come from nowhere. They're influenced by other people which shaped their sound. Okay? Think about fashion. Well, think about how every single guy these days has exactly the same haircut, you know, with the sides, yeah, got slicked back. Everyone's got that haircut. It's a cool haircut, but everyone's got it. It's not just coincidence. It's because we're influenced by each other. And it's pretty much the way that we work as human beings. It's pretty much the way we work as relational people who desire to, to want to fit in. We desire to be in community with each other. So whether you realize it or not, you're influenced by your friends a lot more than you think. Sometimes in good ways, sometimes in bad ways. And because of this, that is why we need to be careful when we talk about our relationship with Jesus. See, in that drama that guys just did, we can see how easy it is to give in to our negative influences and act the way that our friends do because we want to fit in. You know? We don't want to stand out. We want to fit in with the crowd. And even if that means that we act ungodly or say things that are ungodly or even deny Jesus himself. But in tonight's passage, Paul tells us to not be misled by other people, not to be misled by negative influences, but to stand firm in Christ. So in pods tonight, we're just going to be focusing on just two verses tonight. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 33 and 34, and hopefully Deb's got up behind me. There we go. It says this, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Come back to your senses and stop sinning. So before we split up and go to games and pod, let me just pray for us, because I think this is such an important verse. Well, these two verses are such important things for us today. So let me pray. Father, we thank you again for your word, and we pray that as we go into pods, that you would help us to see in our lives the places that we're giving in to temptation, we're giving in to negative influences which influence us away from you. And we pray that you can help us to see where they are and to change and so that we can always be focused and standing, standing firm in you. We pray this in your name. Amen.